my dear students namaste myself pramod one of your mathematics teachers welcome to our first mathematics class before starting the session let me ask you a question is it possible for us to live a day without numbers i'm sure without any doubt or without any hesitation you will say the answer no because it is not possible for us to live in this world without numbers the reason is all physical and natural phenomena are related to numbers as students it is necessary for us to study about the number system and the properties of numbers and in today's session we shall discuss more about number systems in this lesson we are going to learn about different classification of numbers which include natural numbers whole numbers and integers the most basic type of classification of numbers are natural numbers we all are naturally count things by using 1 2 3 and so on therefore the basic innermost classification of numbers is the natural numbers natural numbers include numbers such as 1 2 3 and so on they often referred as counting numbers the next classification is the whole number and as we all know that the natural numbers include 1 2 3 and so on when we include zero with the natural numbers we get the whole numbers and the next type is integers integers are the combination of negative numbers zero and the positive numbers and here the numbers 1 2 3 etc are called the positive integers numbers minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 etc are called the negative integers and you can see there is a number that is 0 which separates the negative integer and the positive integer so the number 0 is neither a positive nor a negative integer now we have learned about natural numbers or counting numbers that includes 1 2 3 4 etc next we have learned whole numbers means we have included zero with natural numbers we have got the whole numbers that is 0 1 2 3 etc next we have learned the integers means negative numbers zero and the positive numbers so let's represent these integers on a number line first we have to draw a line then we have to divide it into different portions and the middle portion we have to label it as 0 and on the right of 0 we have to mark the positive numbers and on the left of 0 we have to label the negative numbers and between 0 and 1 if we take 0 and 1 we can find infinitely many numbers between 0 and 1 and in between 1 and 2 also we can find infinitely many numbers and in between 2 and 3 also we can find infinitely many numbers in general between two integers we can find infinitely many numbers on the number line for example consider a number that is 1 by 2 1 by 2 when we divide we get 0.5 the position of 0.5 is between 0 and 1 the middle of 0 and 1 is 0.5 that is the position of 1 by 2 next if we consider 3 by 4 3 by 4 means almost it is 0.75 that also in between 0 and 1 that is just close to 1 next when we take another number that is 2021 divided by 2020 when you divide it it comes almost 0.99 something so this also very very close to 1 means now we have taken three numbers these three numbers position also in between 0 and 
Likewise, we can find infinitely many numbers between any two given numbers on the number line. So, when we consider these numbers, these numbers are having a speciality that means it is having a numerator and denominator or we can say that these numbers are in the form p by q. In mathematics or in number system, we call these type of numbers are rational numbers. Definition, a number r is called a rational number if it can be written in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0. Means a number if we can represent it in the p by q form that means in the numerator and denominator form and the denominator must not be 0 then that form of numbers that we call it as rational numbers. Some examples if we consider 2 by 3 here it is having p and q that is numerator and denominator next is 1 by 2 that is also a rational number and here consider 5. 5 of course it is an integer but we can write it 5 in the form 5 divided by 1. So 5 divided by 1 that is in p by q form that is a rational number. Next to minus 6, minus 6 also we can represent it in p by q form that is minus 6 divided by 1. So that is a rational number. Next I have taken 0, 0 is also a rational number because we can re represent 0 in 0 by 1, 0 by 2, 0 by 3 likewise. So this is also in p by q form. So 0 is also a rational number. In the classification of numbers, so far we have learned about natural numbers, whole numbers, integers and rational numbers. Rational number includes integers, integers include whole numbers. All numbers include natural numbers. Now, we are in the classification of numbers, we are going to learn about irrational numbers. The definition is any number that cannot be expressed in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0. Means if we get a number and we cannot represent it in p by q form, p and q are integers, then we can say that these type of numbers are irrational numbers. Consider an example root 2. Root 2 is an irrational numbers, irrational number. Some may think that root 2 we can write it as root 2 by 1. Then it is in p by q form. Once you write it in p by q form, we can say that it is a rational number. That assumption is wrong because even if you write it in root 2 by 1 format, p by q1 format it will come. But root 2 is not an integer because integers we know negative numbers 0 and positive numbers so root 2 is not an integer that's why root 2 by 1 is not a rational number so it is irrational number next example is root 3 and one more example is if you take a root 5 root 7 and so on and another example is pi and it is one of the very important question also because sometimes in the examination they may ask you pi is rational or irrational. Pi is an irrational number. Pi is an example of an irrational number. Next classification is real numbers. Now in the classification of numbers we have only two number systems that is one is rational numbers another one is irrational numbers because rational number includes natural number whole number integers so all together we can say rational and another set is irrational so we have two sets in our hand that is a rational and irrational numbers the definition of real number is any number which can be represented on the number line is a real number means any number if you take whether it is a rational or irrational we can represent it on a number line you have already learned in the smaller classes how to represent rational numbers on a number line at the end of this chapter you will study how to represent irrational numbers on the number line that means root 2 root 3 root 5 and all you will study how to represent it on the number line means both rational and irrational numbers we can represent it on a number line so these numbers together we call it as real numbers that is it includes real numbers includes both rational and irrational numbers 
every point on the number line represents a unique real number when whatever point you take on the number line in that point represents a unique real number so the real number definition that is any number which can be represented on the number line is called a real number it includes real number includes both rational and irrational Let's numbers visualize the classification of numbers the innermost classification is the natural numbers that is 1 2 3 4 etc next is the whole numbers that is 0 1 2 3 4 etc next is the integers that includes negative numbers 0 and positive numbers next is the rational numbers that means in numbers in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 next we have studied irrational numbers that is pi root 2 root 3 and so on so all together these rationals and irrationals all together we have learned as real numbers next we shall discuss some exercise questions exercise 1.1 first question is 0 a rational number can you write it in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 the answer is yes 0 is a rational number 0 can be written in the form 0 by 1 0 by 2 0 by 3 etc means any number if you divide with 0 we will get 0 only so 0 by 1 also 0 0 by 2 also 0 0 by 3 also 0 0 by 4 also 0 so 0 by 1 0 by 2 all these are in p by q format so it can be written in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 therefore 0 is a rational number this one i was explained while, while explaining the example of rational numbers the next question find six rational numbers between three and four when i was showing the numbers on the number line i have explained to you that between two numbers on the number line there are infinitely many numbers so there are infinite rational numbers between three and four but we are asked to calculate only six rational numbers so the first step is we have since we are asked to calculate six rational numbers we have to add 1 with 6 so 6 plus 1 we have to do 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 next step is we have to multiply 7 by 7 this 7 is from here 6 plus 1 we have got 7 so we have to multiply 7 by 7 with both the numbers we have two numbers one is 3 and another one is 4 3 you have to multiply with 7 by 7 4 also you have to multiply with 7 by 7 let's do it 3 into 7 by 7 that is equal to 3 into 7 is 21 21 by 7 next is 4 into 7 by 7 so 4 into 7 is 28 finally 28 by 7 we have got now our new numbers are 21 by 7 and 28 by 7 so the six rational numbers between 3 and 4 between 3 and 4 means new numbers between 21 by 7 and 28 by 7 we have to write six numbers they are 22 by 7 23 by 7 24 by 7 25 by 7 26 by 7 and 27 by 7 means we have made it 21 by 7 first then 22 onwards we have to write 22 by 7 then 23 24 25 26 and 27 by 7 these are the six rational numbers between 3 and 4 once again we are asked to calculate six rational numbers so we have to add six plus one that is seven then we have to multiply seven by seven with the given numbers so three into seven by seven that is equal to 21 by seven again four into seven by seven that is 28 by seven then from 21 to 28 we have to write all other numbers 22 23 24 25 26 and 27 divided by seven are the six rational numbers between three and four hope it is clear Next question number 3, find 5 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. So here we are asked to calculate 5 rational numbers. So as I mentioned before, there are infinite rational numbers between 2 rational numbers that is 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. 
then as we need to find five rational numbers we need to calculate 5 plus 1 you have to add 1 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 then we have to multiply 6 by 6 with both the numbers 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 we have got this 5 is since we are asked to calculate 5 rational numbers that's why we have taken 5 5 plus 1 we have to do 6 we got then 6 by 6 we have to multiply with both the numbers the numbers are 3 by 5 and 4 by 5 that is 3 by 5 into 6 by 6 6 by 6 is this one so 3 into 6 that is 18 5 into 6 that is 30 so we have got 18 by 30 next is 4 by 5 next number is 4 by 5 we have to multiply 4 by 5 with 6 by 6 that is 4 into 6 24 5 into 6 30 so we have got new numbers that is 18 by 30 and 24 by 30 we are asked to write five rational numbers that is from 18 onwards we can start next to 18 that is 19 by 30 20 by 30 21 by 30 22 by 30 23 by 30 are the five rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5 once again here you are asked to calculate five rational numbers so first step is 5 plus 1 you have to do 5 plus 1 is 6 then you have to multiply 6 by 6 with both the given numbers 3 by 5 into 6 by 6 we did we have got 18 by 30 next 4 by 5 into 6 by 6 we have got multiplied then we have got 24 by 30 then from a 19 onwards 18 is the beginning so 19 onwards we have to write 19 by 30 20 by 30 21 by 30 22 by 30 and 23 by 30 are the five rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5 Next question, state whether the following statements are true or false, give reasons for your answer. First question is, every natural number is a whole number. Next one, every integer is a whole number. And the third one, every rational number is a whole number. So these three questions comes under the definitions of uh, classification of numbers. So please do it, this one as homework. Dear students, in today's session, we have learned the classification of numbers starting from natural numbers to irrational numbers. So you have to go through all the definitions and the exercise questions. If you feel any doubt or any inconvenience, please feel free to ask. Thank you for watching.